How's it going guys and welcome to today's video. And I've been doing a lot of videos on Mario Party Superstars recently and it got me thinking about what's actually going to happen after the game comes out because it comes out in October so it's not very long until it releases and we had Super Mario Party only two years ago so it seems like they're doing a lot of Mario Party games at the moment. So this video is going to be about a game concept that I've come up with like an idea for the next Mario Party and it's not actually a Mario Party game but I'm going to be calling it Nintendo Party because a lot of people have been talking about the next Mario Kart and deciding whether it's going to be Mario Kart 9 or Nintendo Nintendo Kart because in the last Mario Kart game we got quite a few characters added that weren't from Mario like we got Isabelle from Animal Crossing and we got Link from Zelda and we got a few others and its character roster is becoming more like Smash Bros and having lots more characters from different games so people have been wondering if the next Mario Kart may just be a big Nintendo Kart which would be really cool but that actually got me thinking about whether they could also do a Nintendo Party so I've come up with some cool thoughts and ideas about a Nintendo Party game that they could make and whether it's actually possible that Nintendo are going to do this or if it's just like a dream that I want because it actually sounds really cool because Mario Party on its own is already amazing and adding loads more genres from Nintendo will bring a new audience to the game and having tons of new characters will definitely bring a lot of life back to the series because a lot of the recent games have been receiving worse satisfaction from players and it's clear that the old Mario Parties are what most people enjoy more and so a big Nintendo Party game could actually freshen up the series. So I'm going to be talking about what Nintendo franchises could be in the game and what characters could be and like what boards there could be as well as some mini games. So I'm thinking this game will have like a similar character list to Smash Bros games but like just Nintendo characters because Smash has actually been adding characters outside of Nintendo like they added Steve which was crazy. I'm just going to be talking about Nintendo stuff in this one and so some of the franchises that I definitely think would be really cool to have in like one big party game is Zelda and Mario obviously Mario should be in it um, and Pokemon, Kirby, Animal Crossing, Pikmin, Metroid, Star Fox, Donkey Kong, and many more series that we've seen. Um, those are just some of the main ones that I've listed. I've probably missed quite a few big ones, but I just want to see any Nintendo franchise included in it. Um, like Xenoblade Chronicles as well, that's a cool one that I'd want to see. So yeah, a bunch of different franchises coming together in one party game would be amazing. Because not everyone likes the Mario series, so they probably haven't picked up a Mario party game, even if they like the idea of playing like a board game as their favourite characters. So maybe someone who prefers Zelda would want to play as Link or someone, and so they'd actually buy the game for this. And having a bunch of these franchises means there can be so much more variety of what boards they can put in the next game because people have been really unhappy with the boards in the most recent games because they're not feeling like they used to and adding whole new boards with other Nintendo characters in would be really exciting so I've come up with a few ones and it'd be really cool to see a Hyrule board from Zelda so you can go around like Hyrule Castle and instead of coins you can collect rupees for the shop and you could maybe collect Triforces or Spirit Orbs for instead of collecting a star it'd be really cool to see like the coins and the star turn into different things depending on what franchise the board is themed off of. And so another one that would be cool would be like a Pokemon board. I and mean, it could just be one of the regions from the game, but like a smaller version. Or maybe it could be like one of people's favourite gyms and you go around inside the gym. Or it could even be a massive Pokemon stadium, but there'd have to be some kind of cool obstacles in the way. Otherwise that would be quite linear. But yeah, anything Pokemon would be amazing. And maybe you could take a route where there's lots of tall grass and so Pokemon could like attack you in that one, but it could actually be quicker. So it's like you might want to take the risk to go down there or you could just take the slower route but there's no chance of being attacked or something so yeah pokemon could add a lot to this game maybe you could also get pokemon as helpers to roll the dice to get further like how you get partners in super mario party i'd also love to see a yoshi's willy world board i never got to play that game but i actually just ordered it today so it's probably why i thought of it i loved kirby's epic yarn i love the look of yoshi's willy world so any board that's like woolen themed or yarn themed so it could be a kirby's epic yarn board or a yoshi's willy world board either way that would be really cool if all the characters were like walking around on some wool. There could be like a cloud area where all the clouds are made of some cotton and you have to try and get up there to get the star. And I think in Yoshi's Woolly World you collect like these gems instead of coins so that could be the currency in that board. That'd be really awesome. Another board I'd like to see is a Donkey Kong board. We already get loads of those in the Mario Party ones, so it wouldn't be that unique. But I love the Donkey Kong themed one, so it would still be cool to see that. Maybe it could be themed around Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. As I know loads of people really love that game, and I actually just started playing it, and I'm really enjoying it. As it's much harder than the 2D Marios, which is quite fun for a change. So yeah, a Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze board would fit the game quite well. Another one I'd like to see is a Paper Mario board, because the Paper Mario series has been kind of rocky recently. Uh, and it would be cool if we got like a thousand year door themed board to have a throwback to the old games because loads of people just loved the thousand year door. Everyone I know who's played most of the Paper Mario games says that one's their favourite so I'm sure loads of people would be happy to see a Paper Mario board in this game especially if it's thousand year door. Another cool board would be like a Metroid themed board 
I don't really know what they could do with this, but yeah, definitely add a Metroid board into the game. I don't know too much about the series because I haven't actually got to get any of the Metroid games, but I've played them a few times at other people's houses, and I think it would have a really cool atmosphere. I'd also really want a board themed around Super Mario 64 or Super Mario Sunshine. Either one of those would be awesome. Maybe one going around Delfino Plaza or one going around Peach's Castle from Super Mario 64. Uh, and they could be in like the original graphic style. That might look quite bad uh, on the Nintendo Switch or whatever this uh, imaginary game concept could be on. Maybe this game could come out on like the Switch 2 or something. I have no idea if it's going to exist. But yeah, a board with old graphics might look kind of cool with all the new characters running around it. And it could be like a nostalgia board. Either a Mario Sunshine one or a Super Mario 64 one would be perfect for that. Because a lot of people have nostalgia for the old Mario games. An Animal Crossing board would be amazing as well. Because we actually got like a weird kind of Mario Party like game um, on the Wii U for Animal Crossing and it was really bad and I don't think it sold very well because it literally did nothing, it had like five mini games on it or something and only like one board. I'm not sure how accurate that is. I think it did actually only have one board which sounds awful and it did not look very fun and yeah so making an Animal Crossing board on like a Nintendo Party game would definitely be a much better version of what they tried to do on the Wii U and we didn't even get an Animal Crossing game on the Wii U which was disappointing. They need to make up for that awful game and put a cool Animal Crossing board in a Nintendo Party game. If they were really clever maybe Maybe they could like make a board out of your own island on Animal Crossing if you have it on Switch. I don't know how that would even work though, but it'd be so cool to be playing like a Mario Party round on your own island from Animal Crossing. But yeah, that would actually be amazing if they somehow did that. The final board that I've come up with is a Pikmin board, and I don't mind which Pikmin game they base it off of. They're quite similar. The only one I've properly played and completed is Pikmin 3. Any of the environments from that game would make a really cool Nintendo party board. Maybe instead of collecting a star, you had to collect one of the fruits. And you could even use Pikmin as currency or something. Uh, that might be a bit inhumane, but I don't really know. That would just be a cool idea. So yeah, any type of Pikmin board would be awesome. And I'd definitely play that one quite a lot if they did that. So those are all the boards that I've come up with so far. I'd actually really like to hear any cool board ideas you come up with in the comments. So make sure to comment down below any of your ideas. And now I'm going to talk about what characters that I think need to be in the game. I'm going to start off with the basic Mario characters. Because this idea is pretty much based off Mario Party, so I have to include the characters. So some of them can be Mario, Luigi, Daisy... Peach, Toad, Koopa Troopa, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. Maybe also Rosalina and Goomba. Pretty much any of the characters that have appeared in Mario Party games. Uh, I'd love to see Shy Guy as well, that'd be cool. But yeah, the Zelda characters that I've got is Zelda and Link and Ganon and Toon Link. Because Toon Link was in Super Smash Bros Ultimate, which was a cool character. So yeah, it'd be cool to see different forms of Link in the game. I also would really like Miis to be playable. Um, and I took inspiration for adding Miis in the game from Wii Party because there was actually a similar game to Mario Party on the Wii. Yeah, called Wii Party. I think there was only one main board, but it was really cool and the mini games were all great. They also made a Wii Party U, but I haven't played that. But they could add some of the games from that as well into Nintendo Party. So yeah, being able to play as Miis would be good. I also think it'd be cool if you could play as the different types of Pikmin, uh, and also play as maybe Captain Olimar, or any of the other characters really that you find in the series. Um, but that's like the main one that I'd like to play as, because you could play as him in Nintendo Land. And that was actually the first game that I experienced Pikmin from. I never played any of the original ones before I played Nintendo Land, so I didn't really know what the series even was until more recently. Yeah, any Pikmin character would be good. It would also be cool if you could play as Star Fox and Kid Icarus and Samus from Metroid. Also Kirby and Meta Knight, so they're both from Kirby games, that would be cool. And Yoshi as well. I didn't write him in the Mario section because I was thinking about like the Yoshi games. And also some of the Pokemon could be Pikachu and Charmander and Squirtle and Bulbasaur. Maybe you can also like evolve mid-game somehow. I don't know if that would make an unfair advantage. But also some of the Animal Crossing characters would be cool in this. Maybe if they did somehow link it to the Animal Crossing game if you have it on switch then you could play as like your own animal crossing character with the same outfit and stuff that'd be really cool it would also be cool if you could play as isabelle like you can in mario kart 8 deluxe and tom nook would also be a cool character as well as kk slider oh my god i almost forgot a franchise that i really love is splatoon and that would also make an amazing board so if they had like uh moray towers or something or urchin underpass was in mario kart 8 deluxe i'd like to see that as in like a board form um, but any Splatoon board would be cool. I'd also like to see Inklings from Splatoon as playable characters in the game. I completely forgot about that series somehow, even though it's one of my favourites. That also reminds me, they could also add ARMS characters into the game, as ARMS is like a new thing they did for the Nintendo Switch, so it'd be nice to see more from that, because they did actually add Min Min into Super Smash Bros, which is a character from ARMS, so they could put a few of the characters from ARMS into this game as well. But yeah, those are the main characters I've got on my list for this game idea, and yeah, if I've missed any that you really want to see, comment them down below right now. 
now and I'll see who can come up with the best character that I haven't listed so far. And overall I really like this idea that I've come up with and I definitely would pay full price for this game and probably pre-order it so I can play it straight away because a Nintendo party would actually be amazing, especially if it had the online multiplayer that the new ones are having at the moment. That would be really cool. And yeah, about the mini games, I haven't come up with any like original mini games, but I think it would be cool if they used a few from Super Mario Party. Not too many though as it's quite a recent game and they also should use a lot of mini games from Mario Party 8. That's probably my favourite Mario Party. Uh, as I said in previous videos. And also I was talking about Wii Party earlier and I think they should actually take a lot of those mini games and put them in because those were really fun. And they're kind of different to the Mario Party mini games, so it would add a lot of variety to them. They could also just come up with a bunch of new mini games to fit the new franchises in the game. And they could also take a few old Mario Party mini games and like reskin them into the other games themes so they could make like an old Mario Party mini game into a Zelda one because then it wouldn't take too much work to make a bunch of mini games. I didn't really have many ideas for that. So overall, that's what I'd hope for them to do if they made a Nintendo Party game with all of like the characters. I really hope you enjoyed this and you think it's like a cool concept. And yeah, like I said, you can comment down below what you'd like to see in a game like this uh, and whether you'd buy it or not, as I think I'd definitely buy it. I don't really know how likely it is for Nintendo to do this because we haven't seen any other Nintendo characters come into Mario Party, so it's probably most likely they'll stick to just Mario, and it's more likely we'll get a Nintendo cart than a Nintendo Party. I thought it was just a fun idea to come up with and make a video about it because I'm getting really excited for the next Mario Party, so I already wanted to think about what will happen after, but I should probably just be happy with what we're getting because it's really cool anyway. Um, And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I think I'll do a video about DLC I want to see for the Mario Party Superstars in the future that will be one of my next videos so make sure you subscribe to see some of that and have a great day and leave a like on the video bye